Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over the V Rising launch trailer. I am super excited for this, so let's get right into it. Okay, immediately we're starting off in... This looks like Bright Haven to me. Okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely Bright Haven. Just looking at it, I think this is the southeast corner of Bright Haven, but I'll have to double check that in game. Assuming they didn't move anything, that is. Actually, this looks like the max level gear we have right now, like the max level gear set, but it seems to be dyed black. Okay, so that is, uh, let's go back a couple of frames here. Yeah, this is definitely Dracula's castle. We see how big this thing is. <laughs> Holy crap. And uh, looks like there's guards here now. Um, when they showed an image of this last time with the Ruins of Mortium trailer, they didn't show that. So that's kind of interesting. Looks like he has some uh, guards outside to make sure that you don't get in very easily. Interesting. Okay, this area here, this is the, this looks like the crossing between uh, Dunley and Farbane. That's very interesting. Um, these are definitely Dunley militia units. Oh, okay. It looks like I was right about Behemoth. Gore Crusher is over here going on a, going, <laughs> going on a nice stroll, it looks like, uh, through the swamp, maybe? Um, this area looks really familiar to me. This might be, I want to say this area might be near where Matka might be, but I'll have to double check the map to confirm. Um, if I, if I figure out where it is, I'll just post a picture of that location here as well. Oh no. That Trent just wants to kill us. Uh, this is Farbane. You can tell by the river. This looks like a... This actually looks like the beginner area. Uh, like the really, really like early start area of Farbane. Um, I want to say maybe to the left here might be a way gate. But I can't, I can't see it from this picture. But I have to maybe confirm that location in game too. Here we go, Gloom Rot. Okay, so it looks like we have things to worry about on our pathings now. Um, now it's not just Gloom Rot that has patrols. Uh, and, you know, that, that's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they showed all the regions. That's cool. Raise your castle. All right. Uh, immediately. Actually, let me unpause. Okay. These windows, they seem to be windows we already have in game. They look like they're the red dyed variety. Um, the wall vegetation already exists in the game. Uh, these lanterns, I think might... Hmm, I'm pretty sure this is the lanterns we have right now, the, the hanging lanterns. Um, but this is new. This is a, uh, it looks to be the same, uh, the same light, I mean, that we've seen uh, in the previous update. Uh, I think it was like the, maybe the Dracula, the one with the Dracula update on it. I forget which dev update number it was, but I'm going to post a picture of that here. So you know what I'm referencing when I talk about uh, the furniture here. But uh, yeah, I don't see anything else new. So I'll, I'll just uh, continue. Okay, let's pause here. Oh wow, there's a lot to digest here actually. So let's see if we can spot out some furniture items or anything new that we haven't seen yet. Uh, these lanterns are new. Uh, we don't currently have lanterns that stick out like that with it with such a thick handle uh, before dropping the lantern. Also the shape of the lantern is different. It looks like there's just a candle in them. That's actually really cool. I like that. Uh, we have these round circle rugs right now. It looks like we'll be able to dye them. That's nice. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay, so this looks like stairs. Maybe. It's hard to tell from this angle. Oh yeah, no, there's a balcony here. So, let's see, we have a floor here, the floor, the floor that we're on, and then another upper floor. I only see three floors here. Okay, so maybe, maybe they won't be expanding on that? Let's see. 
Um, these cases are stuff we already have. This candle is something we already have, but we didn't used to be able to dye this. Um, these candle stands were not dyeable before, and neither were these floating lights, actually. Now I look at it, it looks like we're going to be able to dye a lot more furniture. Um, that is awesome. And, uh, okay, so we have purple rug here. This looks kind of blue to me. It's hard to tell if things are purple or blue, but I'm going to go with purple, and I think the lighting is blue. Yeah, I think the light, I think the lamps are blue, and the rest of the furniture is just purple because if you look at this this kind of bleeds purple and then it kind of turns uh kind of blue halfway on this uh this brazier we have already uh okay we have these candles what else do we have here i'm just trying to see if i can spot anything else that might give us a clue uh oh um these this rug here and this rug here on the edge these two rugs we currently have in the game but those rugs are not dyeable right now. So that is that is awesome that we get to uh, dye that. That's that's really cool, actually. Um, I see some shrubbery here. It, well, not shrubbery. This looks like a tree that might be coming out of the ground underneath. It looks like we might be able to actually just place trees underneath already existing uh, floor or foundation. If that's the case, that'd be awesome. Because I don't know how this was built... This tree could have been placed first, but the fact that it's just like bleeding through the floor and stuff, that's kind of odd. Um, let's see, we have these tables already in the game. Uh, trying to see if there's anything else I can spot here. Oh, wait, hold on. This might be a new type of stairs, actually. Like looking at this, this is definitely a stair railing, I'm pretty sure. And I don't recognize this railing. The color of the stairs is also different. Um, this is not the default option. Look at the railing here. That is that is not default. So it looks like we're going to get a new stair here. Here's another image. Uh, here's another view of it. I'm going to go backwards a few frames to see if we can get a better look at the stairs. Maybe. Oh, I went too far. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, no, this is definitely a new stair, new staircase for sure. I haven't I haven't seen that. This is new. Um, I think that's it. I think we got everything here. Yeah, I mean, the wallpaper is kind of hard to make out. No, this is just wood. We have this wallpaper already. Yeah, the wood panels we already have. So, yeah, that's all I got from this image, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, we got a close-up picture. Okay. Well, not picture. We got close-up footage. Um... Yeah, it looks really blue down there, but like I said, it's hard to tell because right now that is purple, but with the blue lighting, it can really distort the colors. This is a new outfit. We don't have this in the game right now. This is also a new outfit. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we're lounging and sitting in front of the fireplace. That's cool. This flooring is new. I don't think we've seen this flooring before, and here are those... Uh, those wall torches again that look really nice um that we saw in the previous image that i uh pointed out earlier from the outside of the castle i don't see anything else here that's new oh well this rug looks new or maybe it's just hmm, maybe it's the no it's new i think it is new because we don't have rugs that have edges like this right now like i think the edges we have on the current rugs are frayed I don't think they look like that. I ha I'd have to do a comparison, but I'm pretty sure that's a new carpet. But yeah, that flooring is definitely new. Okay, here's a better image from above. Hmm. I'm trying to see. Oh, here's that stand again. That uh, that weapon stand looking thing that we saw in the Castlevania uh, DLC for the premium pack trailer. That I pointed out. Oh, there's another one here too. Yeah. So it looks like there's a uh, weapon stands now or something like that. That's or unless this could just be a furniture item for aesthetics. It's hard to know. But um yeah, that's interesting. Okay, we see the new lamps again here. Sorry, the new torches, I mean. I should say torch because this is fire, not uh not candlelight. Um 
there's a difference <laughs> at least in my eyes um okay we already have these chairs the tables already exist i'm just scouring with my eyeballs to see uh this wallpaper already exists this is the um this is one of the base wallpapers this is the black uh brick one uh yeah i don't see anything else here that stands out to me but yeah that flooring is definitely new Okay, well, let's see if it zooms out far enough. Okay, hold on. Let me go. Let me go back. If well, actually, hold on. Before I go back, let's let's look at this. Um, pretty sure we have this vase already. These flowers are not new. We have these in the game. Um. Oh, okay. We have the candle stand here on the pillar. That's new statues are not new the wallpaper isn't new the curtains are not new this rug isn't new this door is new the um braziers do not look new to me i think we have already we already have those in the game i don't see any new window types or anything like that um, the staircase is not new. I think this is our current default staircase right now. Um, let's continue. Your clan calls for you. Okay, if we go back... Hold on. Let's go back a few frames. What is he wearing? Oops. Actually, I should look at this guy first. I think this might be a new outfit. I haven't, I don't think I've seen that. Now I look at it. Okay, so unfortunately he's already standing or starting to stand up by the time we see this frame. Um, hmm. Interesting. What is he wearing? That looks... I don't know what that is, but it looks like the gear has died. It's hard to know. Land calls for you. Okay, we're looking at what seems to be some kind of creepy uh, <laughs> bedroom for us, I guess. Uh, okay, these lamps are new. We do not have that in the game currently. The curtains are not new. The pillars, these are a uh, prison. This is prison wallpaper on the pillars, I believe. I don't think that's new. The torches, okay, so these torches, they're just, they're the same torches we, I've been, I keep pointing out, but they're just blue instead. Um, or I guess you could say like a turquoise, more like. Uh, the coffin is not new. The statue is not new, I don't think trying to see if there's anything else that sticks out to me this flooring is new i don't think we've seen this flooring and this looks like three rugs or is this carpet this might be rugs they're kind of separated um yeah that's new as well they're just like tattered rugs maybe yeah we don't have that currently continuing rise from Okay, that gear set, this this looks new to me. I wonder if this is going to be uh, one of the end game gear sets. And uh, I don't think that the cape is new. I'll have to maybe double check, but let's continue. Okay, let's go back. There was a lot going on there in that previous shot. I think this is the Ruins of Mordium area uh and these look like very uh interesting enemies here um let's continue oh right this is the skill they keep teasing with the axes the flashy uh axe skill for like late game they keep teasing i showed this in a previous uh i think i mentioned this in a, either a previous dev update or previous trailer where they showcased this as well so that's interesting Okay, there was a lot there. Let's go back. Oh, Tristan's on a bridge. That's interesting. I don't, rem 
remember if he crosses a bridge right now. Like, I, I do not remember off the top of my head if he actually walks, like, through a bridge. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. Okay, this is Ruins of Mordium again. Uh, trying to see if I spot anything else that's new. I don't think so. Okay, this looks like some PvP action right here. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh. Do my eyes deceive me? This is not the boss, guys. This is... This is a guy on uh, with a jetpack. And a flamethrower. What? Hold on. We No way. Oh my god, that really is a guy in the jetpack with a flamethrower. Holy crap. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the boss. Because the only uh, enemy right now that can do that, I think, is the engineer. And uh, that ain't an engineer. <laughs> uh, this enemy unit here is not new. We see these in the copper mines uh in gloomrot southern gloomrot copper mines ha has those machines and i think they also exist in this area here i forget exactly where this is i want to say this is like the the factory i think this is the factory that we're looking at this area all right let's continue oh my god yeah it's flamethrower and a jetpack what can i get a flamethrower and a jetpack Okay, see if there's anything new here I can spot out. Okay, there's some whip action. Okay, that is the that is one of the blood magic ultimates. Let's go back. Alright, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. No, oh, okay, that's the same shot from a different angle. Interesting. Okay, this is Dunley Militia, from what it looks like. Just a lot of chaos going on on the screen. Some more Ruins of Mordium footage. That beam is the... I forget what it's called, but it's one of the ultimates, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this unit here looks a lot like the ones we saw outside of what seems to be Dracula's castle. Pretty sure. Um, these guys make an appearance again. They look kind of bigger here, though. Because I remember in the previous... Uh, trailer they looked a little bit smaller or maybe it's because of the angle it's hard to tell and then of course these uh these creatures here are making another appearance which we've um which i think it might be like some gargoyles or something that was like another theory flying around so we'll see yeah there it is right there okay we didn't let's go back let's see what they're wearing the outfit on this vampire is this something we've seen before Man, that's such a nice image. It's too. It's a shame it's only like a half a second, and I literally have to go through frames to see it. Um, man, this should be my new wallpaper. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything new here, per se. It's hard to tell. Okay, this is a better angle. Oh, there's the longbow on horseback. Nice. This is definitely the transcendum right here. This this might be the laboratories. I think this is the laboratory. As all right, continue. Okay, Domina making another appearance. Awesome. Okay. There's Adam right here coming back to haunt us from all the all the <laughs> all the year of uh, of getting my ass beat by this guy. <laughs> That looks like, is that Wraith Spear that was just tossed? And we have Simon Belmont with his uh, fiery whip. Man, I'm not looking forward to getting destroyed by this guy. Okay, we have the Winged Horror. Looks like he's still on the cliff. Okay, we have Solaris. I don't see anything new here. Oh, let's go back. Was that... I think this isn't Raziel. I think this is the other guy. I think this is the guy over in Brighthaven. 
I think this is I think this is the guy in Brighthaven inside the church. What is this? What is this? We have looks to be crystals in the air with like an X. Is it moving? No. Okay, let's go. Okay, we can't. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go back. Just show a lot of boss showcasing. Okay, this right here. Oh my god, I'm getting like FF14 flashbacks, I'm not gonna lie. Like just looking at like all the chaos happening on the screen. This area here, this is definitely Dracula's castle. Like if you look at the chandeliers, the ex they're the exact same chandeliers. This is this is definitely a Dracula fight right here. Holy crap, guys. Look, look at <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, this is definitely Dracula. You could tell by his face. You could tell. Oh, wow. That is. Okay, so I guess my, my theory that he has a second form seems to be correct. Okay, we have uh, Maja. Okay, let's continue. Oh, no, not Pelora. Just looking around. Looks like she's in the same area. We have um, Voltatia right here. We have Simon Belmont again, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is a more close-up image. Oh, let's go back. We have Valencia right here. Remember her from a few um, videos ago when I pointed this out. I think she was like the thumbnail of like, I want to say two, three videos ago, something like that. So uh, I'll leave the links to everything in the description for you guys. Okay, yeah, this is definitely Dracula. You see his face? That that is that is Dracula. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's go back. Look at that. Look is what is this? What is this? Wow, there's a lot of debris flying everywhere. Oh my god. Don't tell me he has like a tornado attack or something. <laughs> oh my god. All right. That is awesome. Okay, wow. Young vampire. We still do not have a PS5 release date. I am so sorry, guys. I cannot. I I tried. Okay, I watched a trailer. I I have been looking, and we still don't know. <laughs> I tried. Sorry, PS5 peeps. I wish I had better news. All right. And then they showed, of course, the Castlevania DLC. I think that covers everything in this um, in this trailer. If I had to choose something, I'm probably most excited for. Hold on. I okay. So there's two things I'm really excited for. Of course, I'm excited for the fight with Dracula. I feel like that's gonna be like probably way harder than the fight with Adam. And knowing how long it took me to kill Adam, like solo, <laughs> it's gonna be hell. Um, yeah, that's going to be a challenge for sure. I think the roaming carriages and, um, you know, just more enemies on the paths, I think is probably a good thing. Probably adds more life to the world. So it's definitely something I'm looking forward to as well. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to point out as my favorite things. The furniture looks cool. Like in this room, um, like I, I cannot wait to use these doors in my builds. These doors look so nice, but uh, yeah, I look forward to this. Oh my God, I'm just so like, oh, I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait to start decorating with the new stuff. I, I just put out a castle build video yesterday where um, like for the alley. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to, you know, link that into the description as well. But oh my God, guys, I am so excited for 1.0. Like, it's not even funny. Like, I feel like I, I, I literally... I, I cannot believe it's happening. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, uh, what do you guys think of this trailer? Is there anything uh, that kind of stood out to you? Was there anything that maybe I missed that you would like to point out? Um, was there any thoughts you had based on what you saw of like the bosses and anything else? Like, I'm just curious to know what your thoughts are in the comments. So please uh, make sure to 
uh, leave that in the comments below if you have anything to say about this trailer. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shilo Q. I'm a Shilo Eats Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I usually stream on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube three times a week. Uh, but I'm also going to be adding Twitter to that list for the month of May, just to test it out and see if I like it. May 8th is also my one year streaming anniversary, so I'm going to have a subathon that day. So if you guys want to stop by and say hello, uh, feel free to do so. That would be very awesome. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday next week. And uh, that stream is going to start at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time and end around 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, I'll see you then. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, Sholo out.